any wine, we know the answer to that. Brooke. True. Red you're wine, right. Reese's Cup. It's all good. That's where you're going to catch me with that on Saturday night. And especially because the weather is going to cooperate with us for Halloween. Thank goodness, right? We had this winter weather the last couple of days, certainly a winter feel. We were still left under the cloudy skies this afternoon. But now as we look at visible satellite, it is beginning to clear out from the west to the east. We've already got some sunshine here in Waxahachie, so we're expecting more sunshine for the next couple of hours and eventually clear skies into tonight. Our upper level low continues to push off to the east, so we're on the backside of that system. It's actually helping to push what is left of Zeta offshore off the mid-Atlantic coast, but you can see some heavy rain, some pretty serious wind impacting the mid-Atlantic region right now, even up into New England as well. But our weather maker happens to be that upper level low, just the fact that we are on the backside of the system. So not only do we get the clearing, but we're also dealing with these breezy north northwest winds. You've got Okay, we do not have a 163 mile an hour wind gust in Sherman right now. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Obviously, it's malfunctioning. I would say probably around 16 miles an hour. Wow, that'd be something, right? 17 mile an hour wind gusts in McKinney, 18 miles an hour in Denton. Those are the sustained winds. The wind gusts are a little bit higher than that, closer to even 30 miles an hour in Denton and Fort Worth right now. So you may be hearing the wind. I think you're certainly feeling the wind. It's cool with temperatures in the 50s for most of us right now. Winds will die down into tonight. Still kind of in that 10 to 15 mile an hour range, I think through midnight, and then we get to tomorrow morning. Calm winds, but clear skies, calm winds for Friday morning. That is a recipe for much cooler weather. We're going to continue to see the cloud cover clearing from the west to the east. We get to tomorrow morning. We've just got clear skies across North Texas. We're not expecting rain for tomorrow, really through the extended forecast, but it does mean tomorrow is going to be cold. And the National Weather Service actually going ahead, issuing freeze warnings. You see Denton County. We've got a little farther to the north, a little farther out to the west as well. That freeze warning in place through 10 AM. So while most of us, I think, are going to stay in the upper 30s and low 40s, there are several spots here in North Texas that could see those temperatures hovering right around freezing for tomorrow morning. Now, our average first freeze is actually November 22nd. So this would be a little early, though we're not expecting that freeze at DFW Airport. And these climatology facts do come from DFW Airport. Earliest first freeze, October 22nd. So we don't have to worry about that. Latest first freeze is January 4th. And I think the trend that we are on, we should certainly see our first freeze before that. So we'll have temperatures in the 30s and 40s for a good portion of Friday morning. But by Friday afternoon with sunny skies, we should be warming into the mid 60s. Our winds gradually transition back to the south and we start to see that warm up. So Halloween, mostly sunny skies, a high of 70 degrees. We fall back into Sunday. We've got a high of 65 for November 1st. Low 60s on Monday, back to 70 for Election Day. Good news for voting on Tuesday. We start at 43. We warm up to 70 degrees. We don't have any rain to worry about. I can only imagine some people trying to early vote this week and thinking, what was I getting myself into with these temperatures, <laughs> right. right? So uh, Election Day should be a lot better, Brooke. I like that. I see some warmer weather, sunshine, and an extra hour of sleep. That's pretty awesome, Erin. Thank you.